Hey everybody, it's Monday afternoon on the 1st of August 2016, Bosco Piper UK. Um, first of all, just very quickly, um, I've got a little envelope, Pipe and Beard Club. I've been waiting for this for a long time. I paid for this uh, badge about three months ago. And um, I can't remember his name, is it Mike? I don't know. Anyway, he's had a lot of trouble with his postmaster, apparently. Um, he says he sent out more than one patch already, but anyway, it's taken a long, long time to get to me. Pipe and Beard Club, thanks for your support. Pipe and Beard Club. That's actually my first patch, so it's nice to get that. Cool. I've arrived. Okay, so down to the purpose of this uh, video. Uh, one of uh, my good mates on Instagram sent me a message and he said um, I saw uh, you've got a pipe on on eBay and on previous posts I've seen you describing this as your favorite pipe. So what gives? What's happening with all the pipe sales? If it's your favorite pipe, why are you selling it? So he's referring to the Paul's Pipe um, Reverse Calabash Dublin that I've uh, put on eBay yesterday. Um, I've, I've kind of alluded to what's going on in a couple of my other videos, but uh, just to clarify, um, I've um, been smoking a pipe since October, November last year, 2015. Um, and as I think quite a lot of people probably do when they start off, they um, get really into the hobby. I certainly went head over heels into the hobby. I spent a fair old amount of money buying lots of different and varied pipes. I was fascinated, I still am fascinated, but fascinated by all the different styles of pipes, the different carvers, different shapes, different materials. Um, and um, it, it's, it's just, you know, it's a beautiful hobby. And um, to see the different way people create the tools of the hobby is just um, fascinating to me. Um, so as I started off my hobby, I spent time and money searching out a completely varied and diverse range of pipes. Um, now I'm approaching a year of uh, smoking a pipe and um, I'm getting closer to refining what I want in a pipe and what um, I feel is a pipe that I will smoke in the long term. Um, I can smoke any pipe in the long term, but there's pipes which you're going to smoke on a daily basis and pipes which you're not. Um, to give you a perfect example, I purchased a uh, pipe from, sorry, I'm just trying to locate it. Um, I've had this on YouTube recently. I purchased this pipe from Moretti, this uh, pickaxe. I'm not planning on selling it. Um, it's a beautiful pipe, but this is really, you know, you wouldn't really smoke this on a daily basis because it's a piece. It's it's a real, you know, it's it's besides the fact that it's very pointy. I don't know how practical it is to to walk around with something which is as pointy as that, but it's beautiful. You know, it's nice and grainy, and it's just a it's a talking piece, and and you'd use that on special occasions. Perhaps some people would smoke it on a daily basis, but. I don't see this as a daily smoking pipe. Um, so from a collector's point of view, it's a stunning pipe and it's a perfect collector's pipe. It's got character, it's got talking points um, and it's it's skillfully made. Um, so I will still keep some collected, collectible pipes, but um, I, as my collection grew, I just didn't feel the need to have such a diverse range of pipes from a collector's point of view. I'm not against collecting pipes. I, I'm a collector by nature. I have other hobbies that I collect for. Um, but um, I, I just felt that with pipe smoking, I wanted to really, as I say, hone in on the pipes that I'm gonna smoke on a regular basis. So the pipes that I've put up for sale, all fantastic pipes. I mean, just as an example, my Jake Hackett pipe, um, you know, it's a stunning pipe. It's, you know, one of the best carvers in the world. I have other pipes of his. I have, um, you know, I'm still. This is a pipe I use regularly. Um, one of his pipes. So it's not about whether these pipes are good or not good. They're all fantastic pipes. My pipes generally are all 
um, either independent carvers or high grade pipes um, and um, you know nobody's going to have a problem smoking any of them every person has their own personal idea of what they want and personal preferences in the type of pipe that they want to smoke some people their aim is to get as many and as varied as and diverse pipes as the, uh, as possible for their collection which is how i actually started but i'm i'm kind of what i'm kind of, kind of saying is that i'm not looking to be a pipe collector i'm looking to be a pipe smoker um and of course there's going to be exceptions and there will be the odd pipe or two which i will buy it from a collector's point of view such as this one and such as the the pipe i've got from the uh, london pipe club things like that um but at the moment what i'm really trying to do is make my pipe rotation more concise and more um, usable. To that end, I've kind of um, set aside the pipes that I'm selling, and I've now, I, I must have had close on 50 pipes at one point, and um, I'm now, you know, bringing it down. Once those ones are sold, assuming they get sold, they may not get sold, and I'll be happy to have them if they don't get sold. Um, but I'm around now, probably around taking those aside probably be around 20 25 pipes and i don't really feel the need for it to to become much larger i'm sure i will continue to buy pipes but i'm not really looking for it to become a collection of 100 pipes that's that's the truth of it so what i've done at the moment with those 20 odd pipes is i've split them into three categories at the moment and i've got one stand there the stands by the way made by paul turnock um fantastically made pipe stands so this is my english pipe stand. I smoke English in each of these pipes and nothing else really. This one is uh, reserved for bulk and blue pretty much. This one is universally English. This one is um, pretty also universally English. This one I smoke northwards in um, and the rest of them whatever takes my fancy. And then I have a stand here. That one's also for English pipes, English uh, tobacco. And this stand here is my aromatics, aromatics stroke Northwood, um, Stonehaven. So this is a Boswell pipe which I use for Stonehaven exclusively, and the rest of them are used for aromatics. So that's the Dunhill Cherrywood, my recently acquired Moretti bent pipe, that's a, uh, a Guard Hill pipe which I got recently, a really nice pipe, Savinelli I got recently. And you can see that I'm favouring uh, bent pipes, although I've got a fair, still got quite a few straight pipes. This is one of them, it's a BJV, Bubba J Vegas. I've got another one of his which is going, which is up for sale. Um, um, a poker. And then I've got the Jake Hackett bent pipe. This is a pipe I sought after for a long time. was delighted when I finally got it. Okay, and then that's um, another one of my uh, Soren Refberg, which is also I use for aromatics. And then on the third stand, I've got another stand as well, which has got miscellaneous pipes, but it's these three which are the main ones. And then this one is, is just a mixture. This one is um, uh, ones which I don't use as often, but still I want to hold on to them. That's my Boswell Hefty Apple. This is my Savinelli, Savinelli which started the whole ball rolling, which I smoke uh, Blood Red Moon in. That's um, a, a Polish carved pipe. That's from Soren Refberg, my first one which used to be used for English, but now is used for aromatics. My Dagna, my favorite Dagna. I've had a few Dagnas, which um, I haven't kept them, but this one I've kept because uh, I really like it. I, I had the, uh, the SPD, which I've uh, sold now. It's going out in the post in the next day or two, which is the uh, the um, St. Paddy's Day one, the, the hooligan, the green hooligan. That's going out in the next day or so. And this is also another Polish carved pipe, which I use for Sleepy Hollow. A uh, really nice pipe. So I smoke Sleepy Hollow every so often and that's the pipe I use for it. So essentially, this is my rotation, um, with the odd exception of a couple of pipes here and there. Um, and there's one or two on the way. I'm, I've got a, another Ashton coming um, hopefully soon. Um, and that's essentially it. So as I say, just to go back to the initial point of the uh, exercise, I'm not giving up pipe smoking. What I'm doing is just um, making my rotation more meaningful and more concise and more appropriate to use for me. Um, so anybody who's looking at the pipes that I've got on eBay at the moment should have no hesitation whatsoever. If any of them take their fancy, absolutely go for them. They're fantastic quality pipes, each and every one of them. I wouldn't have bought them otherwise. Um, so have no hesitation. So 
there we go. Um, thank you very much, and uh, I wish everybody well. Hope everybody has a good week, and catch you on the next one.